it cuts down their prep time by like 30 40 50 probably more minutes so will you not have to do any extra work and will you not even have to edit the script at all and is it perfect and amazing no is it a great start yes hi guys this is drishti sanghvi from clear way to be and today i'm going to walk you through how to create a podcast from scratch this is for anybody who's either running out of inspiration because you don't have topic ideas or you're somebody who's just starting out wants to create a few podcasts but is struggling because you do not have subject matter expertise and hence cannot produce scripts cannot come up with topics and details within those specific topics so first I have asked ChatGPT to give me ten topic ideas for a software company. Let's say I work for a software company selling marketing analytics software. My target audience is going to be listening to this podcast. My ICP is going to be marketing managers or heads of marketing. For this, you need to change the parts that talk about what my company does, what it sells, and who the main audience is. But the prompt pretty much remains the same, other than that. So, ask ChatGPT to give you ten podcast topic ideas for X selling X Y Z, where the main audience is X Y Z. What I've noticed is it's better to mention roles instead of like a singular department. So, better to say marketing managers, heads of marketing, revenue leaders, than saying main audience is marketers or marketing, which usually does not work as well. okay. So, it gave me ten. topic ideas right now out of all of these topic ideas there are a few i will probably not go ahead with ethical analytics is just not something that my audience uh, will probably relate to ai and predictive analytics is hot and happening but maybe i've already covered it or i want to save it for some other day for now for starters optimizing customer journey with analytics sounds really nice because i can possibly add in a promo of my product or talk about my product somewhere within this topic so for now i'm just going to copy paste this and then i'm going to ask chat gpt to expand on this topic what chat gpt usually does is give me pointers and sub topics under this so when i asked it to expand it did exactly that so it gave me an episode structure with an introduction so it talks about how important optimizing customer journeys are what customer journeys mean identifying pain points etc now if you compare this structure to what i'd initially prompted it for which is for marketing managers and heads of marketing this structure is way too basic like for example heads of marketing do not need to be told what buyer journeys are and this introduction the first few points are just way too basic for somebody who's already a marketer so while the content was close to what i wanted it wasn't exactly there I asked ChatGPT to give me a structure for a higher level, more advanced podcast. I asked it to not explain buyer journeys to heads of marketing, and I asked it to please dive deeper into this. And that's exactly what it did. It gave me a more advanced approach to the podcast topic, optimizing customer journeys with analytics. And the sort of structure that it's given me right now is just so much closer to what I would have wanted. So it's given me an introduction, which is the concept of buyer journeys. But here it talks about customer journey optimization rather than talking about what customer journeys are. Then it shifts to discussing changing nature of customer journeys. It mentions the omni-channel experiences, non-linear path, and multiple touch points. So the structure has gotten a lot better here. I quite like these points. Um, of course, feel free to like keep prompting it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead with these points. If you see. Here, they've also actually managed to incorporate the software somewhere here as well. Then I've said, can you please take these sub points and create a two thousand word script between an interview and interviewer? So what usually happens is, if you give this to the person appearing on the podcast, usually somebody from the C suite or higher up, they're going to take this and they're going to have to find a way to convert this into a script and make it easier for them, and then convert all of this into like. pointers and the interviewer will also have to do this if you want easier buy in from leadership to actually be on the podcast it's easier to just give them a script and so i've asked chat gpt to give me a script as that 2000 words cuz i didn't want chat gpt to go on and on and on it would be easier if you just said give me like a 30 minute podcast worthy script instead of like a word limit but whatever works 
and then it gave me a script between an interview and an interviewee which was really nice what i did realize while reading the script was that it was too formal and not something that possibly my company or my fictitious imaginary company that i created would want like this is not the tone of voice that i was going for so i asked chat gpt to please rewrite the script in like a more witty conversational informative but also friendly tone of voice this is like a little much with jedi of masters of analytics and powerhouse guest in the house but it's closer to the tov that i was looking for obviously you will find yourself tweaking the script but this is the script that it came up with and it's it's a lot closer to what i wanted and then based on the script i also realized that while doing this podcast maybe it's a webinar format maybe it's online and not irl and if it is online you'd probably need like a presentation or ppt to go along with it so i asked chat gpt to now based on the script create like a ppt which obviously it cannot do for me but what it can do is it can give me subtopic titles and brief content within each subtopic and title to put on those slides and i also mentioned the specific number of slides that i want to have so i said give me the subtopic titles and brief content within each subtopic to put on slides for about 20 to 25 slides and this is what it gave me so if you look at this it's actually really nice and what you can do is just copy paste all of this text and put it into like a canva template and you'll have your presentation of course this is not the end of it you would actually have to convince um leadership or whoever is appearing on the podcast to actually appear talk about the script probably prepare for it beforehand check the script give you the okay go ahead etc but at the same time it just makes it so much easier for either the external guest whoever you are interviewing or somebody on the leadership team who's going to be on the podcast to prepare for it cuz it cuts down their prep time by like 30 40 50 probably more minutes and it's also more likely for them to agree to doing this if you prepared everything for that beforehand and you also if you're starting from scratch like you don't even have a podcast yet you don't have a brand name you don't have like a name for the podcast you don't have like a tagline anything yet you can also prompt chatgpt to give you suggestions for it at first i'd asked chatgpt to give me 10 podcast topic ideas i can actually ask chatgpt to give me 10 podcast names for a software company selling marketing analytics software basically giving them the same prompt and asking for names similarly asking them for tagline and then creating the brand for the podcast on the ground up using chatgpt now is this ideal and uh, will you not have to do any extra work and will you not even have to edit the script at all and is it perfect and amazing no is it a great start yes so it does save a lot of time if you start out like this and then you go in and edit it versus starting from scratch especially if you're a marketer or somebody who's not a subject matter expert on what your company sells so wrapping this up here if you need the prompts that i've used for chat gpt right now written down into some format let me know and i will add all of it to a document and dm it to you feel free to reach out to me or anybody else in the company and we'll do that for you and yeah that's it thank you so much bye